So, sometimes my scientific sort of, I mean, science friend, scientist friend, friends. you see, they describe me, they, they take a sort of comparison, Galileo, they are not comparison. Um, it's almost, as some of the scientist friends um, uh, compare Galileo's uh, uh, looking through the telescope with the young Dalai Lama looking at the moon through a telescope. Mm -mm. <laughs> I found moon, you see, some rocks, some mountains. But then I noticed shadow of these mountains. About after sunset, the naturally sun west, west side. West. So light comes from sun. Because of that, shadow of these mountains are Eastern world, on the other side, huh? other side. So then I convinced moon have no its own light. Uh, usually, you see, we Tibet, and also even some sort of literature mentioned moon also have some its own light, light. like that. So then, no longer believe that. <laughs> Actually, I saw like that. So I quite bold. Uh, one day, I invited my own two teacher to tutor, tutor, of course. I very much respect. respect. Now, I invite uh, both of them, and I set up the, the, telescope. the, the telescope and invite them, please look <laughs> at moon, whether there's its own light or not. Then the both uh, teacher, you see, look, then say, oh, no light. <laughs> the moons appears as a light come from other source, not moon itself. So, as a young student, uh, made a little contribution for conversion of my learned two teachers' view. <laughs> <laughs> So then, uh, then gradually, as yes, I developed keen interest in science, modern science, then since now I, 40 years, I uh, start talk, meet scientists. Then, around now 30 years, we have more formal sort of organized, organized sort of seminars, uh, conversation with scientists. Very, very helpful. Very helpful. Uh, I think young soul student, mainly four fields. Cosmology, uh, neurobiology, then physics, subatomic physics, and particularly quantum physics, then psychology. These four fields, we have so common sort of common ground or common field. No. So, the scientists, their sort of explanation or on the basis of their actual finding out of research, really convincing, very authentic, very helpful to us. And as far as, I mean, uh, as far as sort of mind is concerned, psychology, these things, the ancient Indian psychology, including Buddhist psychology, much advanced than modern psychology. So compare ancient Indian sort of uh, knowledge about mind and emotion. The Western knowledge is something like kindergarten. So they, therefore, the scientists, many scientists, after our sort of discussion, and gradually they're really showing genuine eagerness to learn from these ancient sort of the knowledge about emotion, about mind. So cooperation is really mutual benefit. I think recent some sort of in, some sort of the scientists uh, they also now carry some sort of experiment in their own concern area. You see what is what effect. A certain sort of training their mind. So they carry a sort of essay experiment. 
So result, very, very convincing, wonderful. So all these development uh, as a result of our collaboration. our collaboration, like that. So, uh, so when we met as a scientist, they considered me as a science, scientist, like that. We never discuss about next life or some other sort of the philosophical sort of matter. We simply, you see, discussing what's our emotion, what's the system of this emotion, and how to deal with this emotion, like that. And then, uh, quantum physics is concerned, quantum physics is concerned. In India, last 2,000 years, this concept already there. So these things, very, very interesting to further to have the serious discussion of these things. So, uh, you know, as a result of the last uh, 30 years of sort of work, now a Tibetan monastic institution in India, now last year, formally decided one of the sort of subjects in their study uh, should include science. So we formally decided like that.